Hi hi everyone, welcome to Eden's Secret. Today we are making some green twinkles cupcake soaps. And I'm just spraying my work surface down with some rubbing alcohol. I've still got a decent, I've, well I've got five litres of rubbing alcohol so I know some people have absolutely jumped on the bandwagon of ripping people off with the rubbing alcohol in fact i actually bought five liters for 10.99 i thought wow that's cheap it never came in fact the listing disappeared more or less as soon as i'd um bought it which made me made me suspect and then where i usually buy my rubbing alcohol they I paid $16.99 for my rubbing alcohol and they put their price up to £80. You know, it's it's disgusting really when you think all the hospitals need um, rubbing alcohol for PPE. So every time I do a video with these moulds, people always ask where I get them from. But I don't think you're going to find them online. I bought these from a cook shop in my local town centre of Penrith. And um, I don't know what they are. Whether they're brioche moulds. I don't know. But this is what I call a brioche mould. And what the difference between the two is, is that this the side is straighter the the what do you call it the angle on the brioche comes out much more like that and narrow narrower on the bottom these are probably just as narrow on the bottom but not as wide on the top so you can see if i push that in there um but i have found something uh some moulds that i think and near enough so I'll put a link to those in the description box below and they seem to have the straight sided edges soap stuck in that so I'm going to do about 28 of these I used to always make 30 cupcake soaps out of my batch but I only do 28 now because depending on what piping tool you're using piping nozzle sometimes you run out of soap and if I do 28 then I've nearly always got enough so seven seven rows of four Alright, so I've separated off 1100 grams, 1 1.1 kilos, uh, I don't know what that is in ounces, but it's maybe about two and a half pound. Uh, here I've got some flowers that I made, they're going to be for the top of the soaps 
I'll show you the molds that I use for those. Now I did buy a load of new ones but it looks to me like well the definition on, on them is nowhere near as good as these so they were a waste of money so I'll find that mold and put a link to it in the description box below right so I'm gonna put um, Eleven and a half. Eleven and a half. What am I talking about? One point one five kilos of soap into there, and I'm using some um, mineral makeup ingredients. Green two one zero. This is a fluorescent green. Um, as I've said with the fluorescents. Um, it doesn't matter where you get them, they all seem pretty similar. I'm just going to try a tiny bit because I don't like these cupcakes to be really brightly coloured. I like them to be really, really pastel. But I do need a little bit more than that. You'd think after the hundredth time of making these, I would know exactly how much mica I want to put in them and um, I'm not really one to make notes of everything either it's better Now a few of you have been asking about the story of Eden Secret and I have done a video about this before so I'll put a link to that in the description box below. Um, I was nice and thin then, um, I've put a lot of weight on since then, um, I'd love to get back to that. So yeah, if you want to hear, I mean there are some things in there that are like cringe worthy. By the way, the fragrance I'm using here is uh, John Paul Gaultier. Um, stylish man from Set Sensory Perfection. I absolutely love this. It's a fantastic fragrance. It's super strong. Uh, yeah, so the cringeworthy moment in that video is where I'm saying, like, how hungry I am to succeed. I'm just not like that at all. Um, and I don't feel like that anymore. Um, I like just being here on my own and working away. Uh, I used to dream of wanting to make a great big business with loads of staff and all that kind of thing. But I actually really like being, oh no, I like being here on my own. I'm frightened now. This is thickening up. I have had people work here with me and I just didn't like it. I found it really stressful. So when you're on your own, you can just go at your own pace. When you've got staff, you need to stop all the time because they're always asking you questions and which is fine 
um, but I definitely prefer just being here at home, being able to go and make the boys supper when they come in from work and and that kind of thing. So just ignore that moment in the video where I say that. I look like I really mean it as well when I'm saying it and I think I did at the time. So something that people or another question people always ask when I'm making cupcake soaps is how do I make the frosting for the top? Well basically it's one big batch of soap. Obviously all the ingredients are exactly the same. It's exactly the same recipe as what I'm pouring into the bottom. All you do is you just let it thicken up over time and when it's thick enough that's when you pipe it but you've got to keep stirring it sporadically and just remember that every fragrance moves your soap at a different speed um, that means that it makes it set slow or makes it set up really fast and it's all part of learning how to make soap um, it all depends on your recipe so the recipe for this is in the description box below the video um, and this fragrance oil I would say it's a medium trace so it gets to trace at a medium speed I think the temperature is making a difference today though you know there's all sorts of factors that play into making soap and how it performs if you're going to learn how to make soap do not expect just to be able to make soap one batch and it come out perfect unless you're really really lucky even if you get that batch perfect your second one probably won't be either I still as you know still get mine wrong even if the recipe is the same every time things still happen because the fragrance oils can change sometimes um, certain ingredients for fragrance oils aren't available and so to manufacture the fragrance they might have to change one note in that fragrance oil so it might not be the same every time generally though they are the same every time Okay, so the other thing that makes a difference with to how fast the fr uh, salt moves is how much fragrance you put in there. If you put a lot more in, it's going to move faster. So this is almost ready. So it literally only 10 minutes since I put the fragrance in. So it's, it's thickening up nicely and it will be ready to pipe in just a minute. So every minute, come back and stir your mixture like this because it actually gets hotter in the center and so if you don't keep stirring it you'll end up with a solid center and a loose outside uh, so you must keep mixing it to make sure it's all the same consistency that's going into your piping bag otherwise you'll have trouble piping it out of your nozzle uh, this is a simply does it piping nozzle I'll just tell you, it, these I really don't recommend these um, 
piping nozzles just because they're not as strong as the Wilton piping nozzles uh, but this is the 8CS from Sweetly Does It did I say Simply Does It? I must have been thinking about Simply the Best and these piping bags you can use over and over and over again these are the piping PME arts and crafts bags uh, they're great for soap because they don't leak out onto the outside they do when you've used them many 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 times and that's when you know the piping bag's finished um, but it's no good using a piping bag that's cloth because your soap is just going to seep through to the outside of the bag uh, and you don't want that so um, I'll put it again a link to those in the description they're about 7 50 each they're not cheap but I absolutely love these um, I prefer them to a plastic one that you throw away plus these are a lot stronger if your soap gets a little bit too stiff uh, you can squeeze them harder if you squeeze a plastic one they burst but again there'll be all different types of plastic ones that do all uh, that are all different strengths and they're all different uh, but I, these are the ones I love anyway also just fill your bike piping bag about half full don't overfill it because you need to twist it at the top you need a bit sticking out of the top like that uh, if because if you don't all the batter is probably going to come out of the top of the piping bag I'm just going to do this one handed so that my left hand le my left arm is not in the way as you can see it's it's not too stiff this batter so it is just dropping out with I'm not squeezing there and it is just dropping out with the mould on its own I'm squeezing now though I must have made these these particular cupcakes hundreds of times or at least a hundred times same with the pink twinkles I mean I used to make them when I had my shop they weren't quite as cute as they, they are now but they were popular even back then now this fragrance is one of those fragrances if you don't mix it in correctly fully it can leave what I call fragrance spots on your soap it's not DOS because DOS makes your soap smell rancid I mean it might be considered DOS but to me when you've got DOS on a soap it smells horrible it, the whole soap smells like um, you know used fat frying fat that's being used over and over and over again and I have come across a few fragrances like that uh, and this is one of them but this is the best version absolutely the best version of the John Paul Gaultier dupe that I've come across I have had others and they weren't as strong as this um, and my customers have always loved it so usually when you put your next lot in you'll get an air bu bubble somewhere there it is as some of my lovely viewers say the pumping piping bag so we'll have a layer of the cream and then I have put pipe the rest uh, on top green and I never ever put the fragrance into the next layer until I've finished 
doing this if you mix it all in you end up having to your second colour can end up going solid and then you can't pipe it so it does add a bit of extra time but at least you're not wasting your soap and this it doesn't take long to thicken up anyway all right so you can see how thick this is now it's all ready uh, to go into the piping bag and pipe on the top this fragrance took about half an hour to get to the right consistency now just mentioning that all the fragrances I buy if I can I'm gonna add um, reviews for them on the suppliers websites but you can't do it with all of them some of them you have to have an email sent to be able to do it this stops just anybody going writing whatever they want on there um, also um, I've got a few messages um, if you are if you have an email that begins with sweet little um, I have replied to you but it came back as a mail a demon hopefully you, you did get my reply um, just answering your questions if your name is Louise and you're asking about where to get things um, if you if you're new to my channel and you might not know anything about YouTube if you click the link for the description box under every video there's a little arrow or a show more if you click show more or the little arrow uh, a box will open up and it'll have all the links to everything you want to know in the description box I've also had um, people asking about wholesale wax melts I've now added a listing for wholesale wax melts onto the website and there are three different options you can have them just wrapped in clear cello cellophane so you can add your own labels I'll supply the information that you need to put on there um, there's also an option that you can have um, the wax melts wrapped in with a label wrapped and labeled just with laser ink and there's all also another option if you want to add foil to the labels um, which is expensive but I worked out that the foiling I know I said 25 pence per label but that was when I thought the foil was 12 foot long well it's actually uh, 10 feet long so I'm just um, making sure that I don't lose money on the foil because obviously you have to pay shipping and as well on on top of the foil when you buy it um, so there is an option there if you want any of those three different options if you want to know which fragrances I do if you click on the regular listing of um, soy wax melts there's a drop down menu that lists all of the fragrances that I do in the soy wax melts and they will change as time goes on when I find new fragrances um, and get rid of some old ones but for the moment the you can only put so many fragrances on there as well so if there's one you know if you see me making a product on YouTube recent product mine not an old one because obviously I've carried hundreds of fragrances in the past um, I should be able to add those in 
if you want them say for instance this fragrance I don't think this is actually listed but I'm nearly I've nearly run out of it but I will be reordering it I don't know if you watch um, Below Deck. Well, I can't wait for that to start again. Um, I don't know if anyone has Hey You, which is a, an online subscription streaming service. Um, Spell H-A-Y-U. Um, I get all my Below Deck fix on there. Um, out, there's three now. We've got Below Deck, which is the original. Uh, there's Below Deck Mediterranean and also they have Below Deck Sailing Yacht now uh, but my absolute favourite out of the three is Below Deck Med and the reason I like the Mediterranean one is because of Hannah and I just hope she never leaves because well at the moment I really like her so um if you haven't got her you and believe me i don't get paid for any of this that's something else someone mentioned uh to me I, I don't do affiliate links or anything like that um which means what i'm suggesting to you is something that i really do like um and i really do like uh, the Hey You subscription sub service. Um, it's four ninety nine a month. It was three ninety nine, but it's gone up. Uh, it's four ninety nine a month. It has loads of reality on there, like all the Real Housewives and there's murder mystery stuff. And um, I mean, I don't even watch that much of it, but. There's loads of stuff that I don't watch, uh, but some a little bit of it I do watch on a regular basis. Um, so yeah, I recommend that, but that is only available in the UK. And the reason it's only available in the UK is because it shows all of the US reality shows, like Keeping Up With The Kardashians. Um... I still watch that even though I'm not keen but I've watched that since day one and I just feel like I've got to continue um, watching that show until they give up doing it. I really think it's time it finished though. It's way overdue finishing. It's like the same plots over and over and over again. Um, I'm just wondering, I think they're on season 18 now, so I'm wondering, are they going to try and just get to season 20? Um, yeah, so I, I absolutely recommend that. What if you drop it? John's playing silly. Well, I won't say that word. Beggars. Beggars, yeah, beggars. That's that's a good uh, alternative. What were you thinking, like? Well, you know there's no swearing in this house. Right, so... Uh, that's John's rules, not mine. Mm. Okay, so here we are. We're at the end, we've got the roses on the top. Now we just need to put some pretty glitter on there. And I always play this game, don't I? Where is it? Where is it? Here it is. And the window's open, so it's probably going to blow everywhere. Luckily, there is a bit of wind blowing, blowing in, which is fantastic. And this is why these are called pink, uh, green twinkles, because they're very twinkly. Yeah. Can you just shut the window, please? 
No, we don't need sprinkles on. They, they, did they? No, these didn't used to be called sprinkles, but I, I used to have a cupcake uh, line called cupcake sprinkles. John, can you see what's going on? What? Can you hear it? When you do that, it makes a creaking that's noise. My that's my bones. My so old, stop trying to get into trouble. My old worn out bones. Well, we've all got them, darling. Us poor old people, you know. So there you go. There we have our green Twinkles cupcake. Right, it's time to unmold these. So I just want to continue talking about um, Below Deck. Um, if I had my time again... Well, the thing is, if you're going to go and stay on one of these yachts for a week, it's going to cost you the price of a small house. Because they cost between a hundred and two hundred thousand. They probably cost even more than that for the bigger ones. Uh, to stay on there for a week is going to cost you a hundred to two hundred thousand dollars or more. Um... And there's absolutely no way on earth I would ever be able to afford that. I couldn't afford a day on one, never mind a week. Um, so the only way I would ever have got on one is to work on one. So if I was young again, you know, before you get married, when you're single and everything... Um, you could always go and work on one. I mean, it looks very hard work, but it I just love the scenery, looking at the land from the sea um, and just waking up and it's like you're outside all the time in that beautiful weather, dining on gorgeous food. I would love it. So if you're watching, have you ever been on a luxury yacht like that? Let me know in the comments below. And if you have, was it anywhere near as good as you imagined? I mean, I know it's the ultimate in luxury, but how on earth does it cost the price of a house to stay on a yacht? I know that the yachts cost millions uh, to build. And obviously, there's all the staff and everything, and then all the luxury food and alcohol that you get on there. Not that I could drink much alcohol, but I might have been able to drink a bit when I was younger. If you're watching, have you ever had an espresso martini? I've never had one. Do they taste nice? Let me know in the comments section below the video. So if you're watching and you're new to my channel, you might be new to YouTube. If um, you don't know about the description box below the video, if you click the show more or the downward pointing arrow, um, all the information that you need, like where the fragrances are from, the recipe might be in there, um, all kinds of information i get a lot of questions which is absolutely fine you know i expect i expect that as a youtube channel i get the same questions over and over again and i don't mind it's absolutely fine i don't mind helping anybody or pointing out where to get stuff um but most of the stuff that you want to know is in the description box of each video 
so um click that before you get in touch and um hopefully the answers to your questions will already be there all right everyone i'll see you all very very soon for another video thanks for watching this green twinkles video and i'll see you all very very soon bye bye for now